Hello everybody, this is Pastor William at BTC Kids. We are starting a brand new series today that's going to go through the whole summer. It's called Super Friends, how you can become a super friend. We're gonna be looking at wisdom, loyalty, uh, friendship and kindness, all the attributes of what makes somebody a good friend. And it's all found in the book of Proverbs. So join us for the whole summer. We're also gonna have Zoom calls on Tuesdays and activities on Thursdays, all online for you to enjoy. Your mom and dad have received an email about all the details so you can be involved. Ask them if, you, if, you've, if you've missed that. But uh, Ms. Gail is going to teach us now and we're going to start off with a little bit of wisdom. Hi BTC Kids and welcome. I'm Gail and it's so good to see you again. I hope you're doing okay and uh, maybe the summer holidays got off to a good start for you. I hope that's right. Today um, we're starting our summer series and that's going to take us right the way through until September, getting you ready to go back to school again. And what we're doing is thinking about what it takes to be a super friend. Now it's probably been a while since you've seen some of your friends and spent proper time with them. Maybe you're even feeling a little bit nervous about getting together with your friends again because the world's um, been a bit different recently, but the Bible has lots to teach us, not a, just about being good friends, but about being super friends. Over the summer, we're going to be learning a lot from the book of Proverbs in the middle of the Bible, just after Psalms. And um, it teaches us a lot about wisdom. It's written by King Solomon, who was David's son. And he was given a special gift of wisdom from God. So as we look at Proverbs, we're gonna build up a big stack of memory verses and brilliant help to be the best friends we can be ready for your new year at school. Some of you are starting for the first time some of you be going up to year six, year five, year four, and so on. So it's all gonna be very exciting. But we're gonna look at different aspects of our character each of these weeks that can all help us to be that super friend that we want to be. So today we're starting off with wisdom because Proverbs 3.13 tells us, blessed is the one who finds wisdom and blessed is the one who gains understanding. So God wants to bless us with wisdom so that we can be good friend ready for school in September. What is wisdom? Let's test it out. I'm going to ask you a few questions, see if you know what the answers are, okay? Are you ready? So question number one is, what is six times seven? Okay, you got the answer for that one? Next question is, number two, what is the capital of France. Have a think about that. Have you got that one? Last question. Question three is, is the word lovely an adverb or an adjective? Ooh. The questions got a bit harder, didn't they? No, so shall we, shall we have a think about the answers now? So question one, the answer was 42, six times seven. Question two was Paris, that's the capital of France. And question three, is lovely an adverb, adverb or an adjective? And the answer is, is an adjective. Okay, so does that mean if you've got all those questions right, you are wise? If you've got them wrong, you're not wise. Well, no, not really. You might not have learnt those things at school yet, 
and what we learn at school is important, but it's not the most important thing. It's important to be smart in lots of different ways. For example, you could be book smart, meaning that you learn all sorts of things, different things at school. Or you can be street smart, knowing things that help us out in our everyday lives. Sometimes people can think that being book smart is the only thing that matters. But street smart is really important to get things done too. Being able to use your hands, think creatively, do lovely art and stuff like that, fix things together, mend things that are broken, build things up, knowing how to keep safe, staying healthy. All of these things are really important to learn too. Now years ago there was a funny cartoon and I'm going to show you a picture of it now. Okay, can you see that? So it says this school is Midvale School for the Gifted. So that means a school for the gifted is children that are really clever, really book smart. But can you see what this young lad is doing? He's trying to push the door open when it says pull. He hasn't bothered to read the sign. So he's not very wise, is he? All right, not so street smart. There are different sorts of learning. Sometimes one kind of learning is easier for us than the other, and it's different for different people. But even though both of the, way, both the above ways of learning are important, there's another kind of wisdom that helps us in our lives. And it helps us to be a good friend, even more than being book smart or street smart. Proverbs 1 verse 7 says, if you really want to gain knowledge, you must begin by having respect for the Lord. But foolish people hate wisdom and instruction. Wise people will let God show them what to do and will respect what he tells them. So God wants to help us with all of our choices and there is so much help in the bible this is my bible this is the one i keep at home and it's got lots of markings in it and this is the book of proverbs right in the middle and i know that proverbs is a very very important book for helping us be wise so um the other thing that god can help us with it's kind of on the spot help when we suddenly need some help we can say to the Holy Spirit please guide me please show me what to do and he'll speak to our heart and he'll tell us the right thing to do you've probably all been in a situation when you think oh I'm not sure what to do and then suddenly you think no I know what's right and that's the Holy Spirit telling you the right thing to do so what kind of people do we want as our friends we want people who make right choices and who think about us, put us first, who can help us when we need help and who might know what to do when we don't. The great thing is, with God's help and God's wisdom, we can be exactly that sort of friend for other people. Isn't that brilliant? So the whole series that we're going to go through throughout the summer will help us to learn verses from Proverbs that will help us to be wise. Not book smart, not street smart, but God smart. They can help us to be the very best friend we can be and be surrounded by the very best friends we can have. Who wouldn't want that? So if you want to find out more about wisdom and being a super friend, 
make sure you visit the BTC Kids pages on the Bromley Town Church website. You'll find all the extra special activities and resources that we've got for you this summer. Enjoy doing it, and I'm sure you will. Bye for now. Thank you, Gal. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. And that's just the beginning of our summer series on Superfriend. One of the verses we'll be learning this summer is Proverbs 19.20. Let me read that, and you can read it with me out loud. Listen to advice and accept correction. In the end, you will be counted among the wise. Proverbs 19.20. It's important to listen and to accept correction. Good stuff. Now we're going to worship with Emma as she sings or dances to uh, My Lighthouse. Stand up to your feet and let's enjoy.
Thank you, Emma, for leading us in worship. This is just the beginning of our summer series. I hope you can enjoy each week with us. Please remember, starting this Tuesday at 9 a.m. and also at 9.20 a.m., we're going to have calls on Zoom. Now, the 9 o'clock call on August the 4th is for the Foundations Kids and the Flames. The 9.20 a.m. call is for the older kids, the ones who are in Fusion and in Fortitude. So please join us for those calls. All the information is in the email. You'll also, when you come to church, um, you can pick up a goodie bag for the summer that is full of creative activities that they're going to do on the Zoom calls. So if you can't make it to church, um, you're going to just need to call the church office and come by and pick that bag up. But we hope you have a great summer with us and uh, look forward to seeing you um, many times to come.